James DiMaggio tortured Hannah Henderson's mother and brother before killing them. Just part of the new information that has come to light in the last several hours. 10 News obtained search warrants in the case this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. We're also learning what DiMaggio might have planned to do next had he not been caught and killed. We begin our team coverage with 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty in the Live Center. Dan. Steve, the warrants show that police knew a lot about what was going on and very early on. For instance, the, this detail that DiMaggio had shot and killed the family dog. Take a look at what else they knew while he was still on the run. Not long after the raging fire at DiMaggio's house was out, investigators knew what they were dealing with. In a conversation between the deputy district attorney and an officer, the DDA asks, at this point, you believe that the perpetrator is Mr. DiMaggio? The officer says, yes, sir, I do. That's because of the two bodies that investigators found inside. Christina Marie Anderson was spotted by a firefighter who saw, quote, a green tarp on the ground near the door with human feet sticking out. Going on to say he also saw a crowbar and what appeared to be blood on the ground next to the head. It took days to identify eight-year-old Ethan's body. We don't know much about his death other than the documents say that DiMaggio tortured and killed his best friend's wife and eight-year-old son. They also knew that DiMaggio and Hannah Anderson were gone. No one had seen her since she was picked up by an unknown person at cheerleading practice around 4 o'clock that day, the same time that both Hannah and DiMaggio's phones were turned off at about 1,600 hours, 4 o'clock. When the DDA asked the officer, are you concerned about Hannah Anderson's whereabouts? The officer replied, yes, sir, I am. In another interesting place uh, in these documents, it says here, um, where, did I, where did I lose it? Uh, Hannah Anderson's phone was turned off at about 1,600 hours. Her phone records show that prior to her phone and DiMaggio's phones being turned off, they called each other approximately 13 times. Now, there's a lot of information, a lot of documents to go through. We have them all on our website. It's on the front page. Scroll to the bottom of the story, and we have them all right there for you, 10news.com. In the Live Center, I'm Dan Haggerty. Let's go back to the desk.